welcome to the Wildflower Magic Knits YouTube channel. This is Vlogtober episode 12. Thank you for joining me today. I am your host, Katie. I'm coming to you from upstate New York where I live with my partner, Alan, our two large dogs, and our two cats. I have captions on for accessibility purposes. You can speed me up or slow me down as a feature of YouTube's if I am knitting too slow or speaking too fast for your preferences. And all of the links to where you can find me, any yarns, patterns, makers, the books I talk about, the recipes I use, any of that stuff will be in the description box below. Happy Tuesday, although it kind of feels like a Monday because yesterday was Indigenous Peoples Day, so Alan was home and nothing was going on. So <laughs> happy Mon Tuesday. I did not start the toe on my ghost sock last night. I just edited and went to bed. But I'm going to do the toe on my ghost sock today. The other one is still on the foot, so I don't even know if I've started the foot or if I just turned the heel on that one. I don't remember, so I'll have to pull that one out and start on the foot. I'm also going to start a new pair of socks today. So I will have to go pick out yarn for that and see if I want to do a pattern or if I'm just going to do vanilla. I don't know. I believe they are going to be a gift. I'm gonna start cranking out some gift nets. And I need something small and portable and mindless for Rhinebeck, because Rhinebeck is this weekend. Alan and I are going to Indie Untangled and Cake Palooza on Friday. So our festivities start Friday evening, or Friday afternoon. And then we'll be at the festival both days, Saturday and Sunday. So let me know if you're gonna be there too. I'm super excited. I still need to do my planning. I need to pull some patterns. Hi, Vader. <laughs> I need to pull some patterns and get yardages and just some basic ideas so that I have kind of like a roadmap. Otherwise, I just get in the booth and I'm like, I really want a sweater in this, but I have no idea how many to buy. At least with the roadmap, I'll have a little bit of guidance, some recommendations, if you will. That's not to say that those projects will be locked into that. I almost never lock in or like set in stone any of my project plans. My creativity ebbs and flows a lot and I just kind of ride it out. I just go with whatever, wherever my creative energy is going, that is where we go. I don't hold myself to any kind of plan or schedule or anything like that when it comes to my making. I just, am in tune with my creativity and I go with whatever it's feeling. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna do the toe and then I'm gonna go pick out yarn and cast on a new project. I do need to get a couple of things done before Rhinebeck. Planning is one, unpacking the office is the other. So those two things will get done at some point this week. I don't know if that will happen. We'll kind of see how my energy goes throughout the day. I also need to work on school a little bit this week. I submitted a research proposal last week, so now it's been approved, so now I need to like get the data. I have the data. I need to run the statistical analyses and write the conclusion and the results and the discussion and all of that stuff. So I would like to get that project done. I would like to get it done this week. So those are three, well, casting on socks is not a big thing, but unpacking the office and getting my, doing my research project are both kind of big things. So I'm gonna try to get both of those things done this week. So my loose plan is to cast on my socks today, run the statistical analysis today, maybe unpack the office tomorrow, and then write the results and the discussion and the conclusion and all of that stuff on Thursday. And then Friday will just be a quick tidy, sweep the floors and go to Indie Untangled and Cake Palooza. When we get back, my friends will have landed, so we'll go pick them up and start the festivities. Oh, I'm so excited. So that's the loose plan, but don't hold me to it. <laughs> You will find, if you spend any amount of time with me, I am a planner. I like to plan out every single little thing. I am not very rigid at holding myself to what I plan. So if I plan to do something like 
the office yesterday and then I'm like, I'm not feeling it today. I very much will just replan. <laughs> I will not like hold myself to it. I will just do the plan again, adjusting accordingly. Okay. Are these the right needles? No, these are not the right needles. Dang it, I thought I had the right needles just sitting right here ready to go, but I do not. Oh, I need to finish my oolong tank. That's also, that also needs to happen. Probably today, I guess. Okay, so adding the oolong armhole to my list and weaving an ends to my list of things to try to get done either today or tomorrow. I'm not re-blocking it or anything. I just need to finish the armhole, so it shouldn't take too long. Well, my needles are somewhere because they're not in here. Dang it. Okay, I need to go find my needles. <laughs> I did not find the one I was looking for, but I did find another size one big enough for Magic Loop, so that'll do.
ghost sock. All of the ends are woven in. I might block this, like right now. <laughs> It's very stretchy. I'm so pleased. Look at these little ghosts. It turned out so cute. I'm so excited. So I'm on the foot of the other one. I might block this. I do not usually block my socks, however, color work looks so much better after it's blocked so i am gonna block these i might block this one before the other one's done because i'm so so curious to see how it looks all blocked and all pretty and all my blockers oh my gosh i'm so excited so i think i'm gonna block this one even though the other one's not done yet <laughs> i just can't wait so maybe we'll go block this and then while it's drying we will start the gift socks that i'm gonna make also if i have this one blocked and the other one not blocked that'll be a great comparison to see how different this pattern looks before and after blocking i love it <laughs> i love it so much Go sock is blocking. I let it sit outside until it gets to like, I don't know, maybe 70% dry, and then I'll toss it in the dryer a little bit just to like, it's all super wash yarn, so just to kind of tighten it back up a little bit, and because I'm impatient. <laughs> I don't always dry my socks after I wash them. A lot of the times after I wash them, I just lay them out, but I do throw my hand knits in the washer and sometimes in the dryer. I'm about to start a new pair of socks. This will be my Rhinebeck knitting. Um, and these are gonna be a gift, but I wanted to show you this bag. This is by Fate's Thread, which I believe their shop is officially closed, which is so sad. But look, it even has the soot sprite on the zipper. All of you Studio Ghibli fans will recognize the soot sprites. I think they're so cute. So the, these will be held in this bag. The yarn that I am using is this really pretty blue as the main color. This is Hoasco yarn in the color indigo, I think. I used this yarn for my Affinity Socks by Carrie Kogan Brown. And then I'm also using the gray that I used. This is Schmutzarella yarns. Um, the color is Mrs. White. So I'll be using these two together. This will be the main color and this will be probably heels, toes, and a pop on the cuff would be my guess. I guess I should decide since I'm about to cast them on. I have had the worst luck with my yarn being tangled lately. There we go. That was an easy one.
Wrapping up editing and getting ready to go to bed. We had leftover lasagna for dinner and it's Tuesday so that's dining room cleaning day. I mostly just cleaned my coffee bar in the pantry and then distracted Alan with looking at all the sprouts on my plants. <laughs> he did the tables and the floors and the dog beds and all the other things. So I got one cuff of my sock done. So I will start working on the leg tomorrow. It's gonna be just above ankle socks, so the leg's not gonna be too long. And then I wanna get the heel done. I think I'm gonna do a slip stitch, heel flap, and gusset because that fits the person that I'm giving the, these to the best. So we're gonna work on that tomorrow because I want to be on the foot where it's just mindless stockinette forever until the toe for Rhinebeck. So. That's the goal for tomorrow. I also need to do my oolong tank, unpack the office, and finish the discussion and conclusion and all that stuff on my research proposal before Friday. So, Alan is tiptoeing over here and it's very distracting. <laughs> Alan got glasses today for the first time, so he has a raging headache. <laughs> oh, he's posing for you, hold on. <laughs> So yeah, that about wraps up my night. I'm just gonna add this to the video and then go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.